Let's make this festive Christmas sign from a hanging Halloween sign. Keep watching! We're going to start with this hanging sign with four panels on it and a ribbon to holding it together. And you're going to take any type of craft paper that you like, scrapbook paper or these little paper packs. These originally came from Target, but it's a couple of years old. And I got it from Dirt Cheap. You just want to pick some coordinating papers. I'm going to start by taking this sign apart. Just going to pull off the ribbon in the back. And we'll save that for possibly another project. I'm going to peel off as much as I can peel off of these papers. Sometimes they come off easily, and sometimes they are really stuck down. Don't worry too much about what you can or can't pick off of there, because you're going to be able to use a sanding block to get it as a smooth surface. You want to get it smooth so that you can use your glue stick without having any bumps underneath. So you want to do that to all of them. And you can use the front or back depending on what you like. I originally considered using all four, but I decided to make it shorter. So you're going to see me choose three papers. And here are my options. It says red and black buffalo check. And then I'm going to use this red and white paper. Two pieces of that. So just making sure that the surface is nice and smooth and clean. I'm going to go ahead and go all the way to the edges and then make a good coverage all over that lock to put the paper on. So it's a stick down good all the way to the sides. This is very important because if you're going to trim it up using a sanding block, you don't want to have anything coming off. Okay, so I'm going to press it down on the back side and use my scissors and just trim it just a little to get it more manageable. And I can save those scraps of paper for possibly another project as well. So I'll set them aside. And then I'm going to use my wooden ruler and just run over the surface of that, pressing down to get a good stick. I have glue on the table. It drives me nuts. Okay, so then I'm going to do the same thing with the other two. This is a Jot glue stick. Nothing fancy or expensive here. Smoothing it out. Same thing here. Now, once everything is glued down and I have flattened it out nicely with my wooden ruler, I'm going to get it nice and trimmed up. I've got my handy foam sanding block that comes from Dollar Tree. And I have been not been able to find these lately, and I certainly need some more. 
So I may have to get constructive, creative about what I use when I, when this runs out of grip. If you're just going to sand away from at an angle, and I am Butterfingers today, down and away from that surface. And then it's going to cut a line for you. It's really pretty easy to see on the dark paper. You can see the white line is where the paper is shearing. And then it can just easily be pulled away and just be sure you get all that white off. I mean, I cannot keep my hands on that sponge. What in the world? Too much coffee? Maybe I need some more coffee. You want to do this on all the sides. This is really great to give a rustic look because it gives that faded or worn edge appearance. It's just a nice look. You can see here with them together that they're all, all finished. Now to just decide what we want to do with it. There's lots of options you can do with those, but I think I'm going to use a single red ribbon down the back to hold these together. Just like this. It's important, I think, to try to get this as evenly in the center of that ribbon as possible so that they hang evenly. It would drive me nuts to see it hanging willy-nilly against my wall. I mean, if it doesn't bother you, hey, do whatever you want, but it would drive me bonkers and I'd have to tear it apart and fix it. So I'm just going to add some of my Gorilla Glue to hold it down. And I'm going to use a foam brush. It's just the, the stick from a foam brush that I pulled off to reuse. It's going to be my little spacer. Get my pattern the way I want it on the middle block and place it down. And then I'm going to add the other one to the top. And I like how the there's a variation in the patterns. There's something different. But it all looks rustic. And it's it's really, I think it's really cute. And then what we add to it is going to give it a farmhouse element that's very, I really, really like. Very unique, I think. You'll have to see. These are enamel, metal, ornaments that I got from um, Walmart last year on clearance after Christmas. Look at these. These are so cute. These are going to look so nice on here, I think. I'm going to pull off the little hangers. You can save them for another project or you can, well, I would say you can throw them away, but I can barely get those words out of my mouth. You just really shouldn't throw away things when crafting, I think. And I always give it new life. All right, I'm going to use some of these uh, tower blocks that come from the children's toy section in Dollar Tree and use it as a spacer so that you don't have... Otherwise, what I'm trying to say is you would have to put glue all around the outer edge to hold that enamel down on that paper. And I just think it would look sloppy. And so this way, it's not exactly flush. It gives it a little bit of dimension. And it's going to make it great for the garland that I put around in a moment. So this just gives it a little, a little extra grip. And then there's a little bit of space between the bottom of that ornament and the, the backing down there. I'm just kind of trying to make this be the center by looking at the bottom, the ribbon that's underneath and the ribbon that's on the top. So I get a continuous line. Well, that's what I'm aiming for. And then I'm just going to try to center that um, above and below and then on both sides so that it's pretty evenly spaced. Now, this is from the Dollar Tree. It comes wrapped up. It looks like one piece, but it's actually two pieces. It's a, a little berry garland, I guess. Pit berry, I think it's called. And it just fits nicely right it catches right under the edge, but just barely, just enough to kind of hold it, you can see. 
so it makes attaching it a whole lot easier and just a dot of glue on the end and then just stick it underneath and you don't see any glue at all on the outside it's very nice and I'm going to do that to each one of those letters this also comes in red uh, you could definitely use red if that's what you want to do but I think the red wouldn't show up as well on the buffalo check um, block so I uh, decided to go ahead and go with the white fiddling around with it trying to get the placements right and now I'm going to move on to the little bows this I think came from Dollar Tree this little piece of trim that I'm using if it I've had it a long time so if it didn't come from Dollar Tree then it came from the thrift store and I'm just going to make some little shoelace bows to put over the little holes in the top of each one of those ornaments you can use all four of the blocks if you like you can put noel you can do this any way you want you can use any any word that you want but joy is a special word for me and i like to have that word as a reminder around me so you'll see it probably in a good deal of my Christmas decorations but use whatever makes you happy and you know switch it up use different words okay so a little dot of hot glue on the back and stick it down to each one of those and it fits in there sticks to it quite well now some hot glues are not going to give you a grip if you put it on metal it's going to pop off there it's just going to it will it just I don't know why it does that but it just pops off Gorilla Glue has a little better grip and I seem to have more success with that so I keep using that I keep going back to that this is some wire jute that came from Dollar Tree I'm just going to take a section of that make a loop and then twist it around itself so that we can make a hanger for this which would be a little bit nicer than just hanging it from its original ribbon you can use a little hot glue on the end of that when you put that loop together a little bit of hot glue on there like I did just to keep it from fraying because it will come off the wire um, I don't know what happened to the footage of that so I apologize for that it's pretty simple though you've seen me do it on other projects to keep the ends from fraying I'm just gonna double this ribbon back down on itself leaving some space up there and I'm not gonna glue the ring on I'm just gonna leave it as it is and then it's all ready to go that's it that is our project what do you think I think it turned out really nice See my little sloppiness up there. I've got some more glue to pick off, but I'll get it. And there you have it. I hope you consider recycling some of your Halloween or fall decorations to use for Christmas. It's an inexpensive way to get the look that you like. So what brings you joy this time of year? Why don't you put that in the comments below and we'll all share it. Thank you so much for stopping by once again and visiting my channel. It means so much to me. Welcome to all the new subscribers and big hugs to you guys who've been around from the beginning. So glad to have you. I'll see you again soon. Bye.